All right, welcome back to the Oldie Morning. Okay, I can't do that without making my mouth all tiny now. Like, you shouldn't have told me to do that yesterday. <laughs> all right, uh, but in all seriousness, guys, this is game number two. We did not cast game number one. There is no game number one cast anywhere, actually. Uh, they did play that out, but as stated before, it was pretty quick, so I'm assuming it was a T-Rex because Supernova leads 1-0. In the series, spawn down here in the lower right. However, from CM Storm or sponsored by CM Storm, it's gonna be the Red Zerg player revival. In the upper left, as the Blue Terran, it's Root Supernova. All right, so Supernova is a good Terran player. I think is a safe way to phrase this. He's one of the ones I'm really hoping we can see at least get to the semifinals, if nothing else. And I think he certainly got it in him. Uh, what's kind of interesting when you come to the Korean server, guys, this is a large dynamic difference between the North American servers. A lot of these guys, they get really aggressive. And I don't necessarily mean like, okay, he's going to two racks every game aggressive. But I mean, when you watch players like Lifefly, they send out a lot of early lings. You watch players like Supernova, they go for these slightly earlier pushes. Whereas you watch a lot of the North American players, or the or even the Europeans, they tend to play more towards the macro game. You don't sort of see that level of aggression. I mean, Revival here even, with a slightly earlier pool. Not the biggest deal in the world, but still uh, interesting that uh, we'll get to see, I think, probably very, a very fun game here on King Sejong. Because this is one of those maps where, if there is no aggression in the early game, or if you thwart it, this can go to the late game very easily for either player. Yeah. So a lot of the times when Zergs get a pool, it's only like to get like the, the earlier lings and the earlier queens, not necessarily, you know, really going full force with like eight lings. Um, but if it is the case that he's going to try and really like, you know, stop the command center from building, get eight lings or maybe even more question mark, it would be really, really good because Supernova is going for a gasless expand. So obviously Reapers eventually take down lings, no problem, but Marines in low numbers, not so much. Like one marine, six lings definitely kills that. Yeah, I like this out of uh, revival. It's a interesting choice. This is where again going back to the whole aggression thing. But I mean, Terran players have been starting to cut out those reapers. You know, reaper all day, every day, nonstop. Two reaper, three reaper. That's how it was for a long time. And then I don't know what what clicked, what changed, but suddenly people are like, you know what? Getting overlord kills is pretty cool. Uh, now he did see the lings with that SCV, or at least he better have. Yeah, one was actually sent back home. So five links coming can still take on two marines uh, if handled incorrectly. But actually, if Supernova gets this SCV involved, I think he actually holds this. Yeah, and he... That's probably the best way to deal with it. You know, just take that SCV off for a little while. Yeah, even just soaking a hit or two. He's actually got oh, three uh, more uh, in the front line. He got a little bit worried about this. Does lose an SCV. Ah, uh, probably should have lost two. Oh, well. Yeah, but he keeps the command center going, which is a really big deal. Yeah, uh, SCV lives. He's trying to do like the hit and run with it. Sadly, can't quite get it. One more hit would have done that. But alright, so Supernova, not in a terrible spot. Revival also did not dedicate to this. I mean, he got two kills for it. That almost makes it worth it outright just through the cost of the lings because he kept three alive. Um, mm -hmm. So pretty, pretty. Uh, I guess, I don't know, moot openings here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was like... You know, Revival made up maybe for the fact that he did 15 hatch and Supernova, you know, I don't know. <laughs> the economy got from not going a Reaper is a little less now, but all in all, pretty even game. Uh, it is interesting, though, that I think the best thing that came out of that is that Revival saw and confirmed that, no, it's not going to be a Reaper expanse. So you're not going to have a Reaper inside my base. So, uh, unfortunately, he didn't actually go gas behind this pool, just now getting the gas. So, you know, like a two-base bailing on bust is obviously not incoming. But it could have been an option, you know, some type of all in or maybe just a surprise, you know, getting like 16 lings instead of 10 more drones trying to, you know, rush in there because there's no way a wall is going to be up. If Rival chooses not to and it's just going to, well, alternatively just drone really hard because there's nothing going to try and stop them. So what of mine's giving out earlier that you're kind of funny to see as well, uh, you know, with this drop, this is really, you know, going, I'd say old school on this. We haven't seen Widowmine draw series as Zerg in a long time, but it's something I think can work out really nicely because they'll have four of them, of course. Uh, the Widowmine damage itself, it's not, I mean, the change with a full blast radius hasn't really affected the drop potential of this. Because a lot of the times, you know, you still, you were getting like 19 workers killed beforehand if you got those sick hits. But what's really scary to consider is Revival, you know, he's going for the lair on two bases. He'll have detection for the Widowmine, sure, but these are guaranteed to get some pretty sick hits with four of them. 
it's just so surprising too. You know, you prepare for the Hellions, you get the wall up in front of the two Evachimans and the Roaches, but you never prepare for a Wood of Mine drop, and in fact, it's gonna be a four Wood of Mine drop. Yeah, exactly. So many more. You know, sometimes you'll see two from time to time even, right? Like, one for the main, one for the natural, try and really just force some lost mining time, but this is... I don't know, Dude. man. Dude, like, Supernova has some sick jukes. He's like completely missing all of the overlords everywhere. Oh yeah, Revival doesn't see this coming until it's too late. But when I talking to Burrow, we'll see how many hits these get. He's not aware of this Whoa. chest yet. Surprise, surprise! He pulls oh. off. Okay, but Flanker's like, killed. Five. That was like the worst one of my hits that could have happened. Right, I'm but off. here's the thing. Revival might think it's over. Okay, he pulls the other ones. He's gotta be careful. This will go off on uh, Larva if, and Stupid Eggs because the oh, are Oh, or the Gas Geyser. Great. Yeah, I love how that happens, by the way. Like, devastating damage. A million lings die, but Where the extractor completely immune. Exactly. Is, oh, oh, my oh, God. Put the stack. Oh! Okay, that could have oh, been better. God. What the hell? <laughs> Supernova gets eight workers killed for, like, the sickest win of my potential. This oh. this, this kills me to look at something. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. Yeah. It's, it's one out alive, I guess. This constellation. With those stacked up... Drones, though, I was sure he was gonna get like this amazing hit. We we're gonna hit the freaking monster kill button. It would have been insane. Wow, he actually suicides the other one. This is not a good, uh, not good use here at Supernova. But you know, we're paying a lot of attention to the wood ones. Look at the follow up for this, though. We're gonna have Hellbats and Marauders oh, pushing. Marauders. Yeah, awesome. All right, so like seeing three Marauders, oh, not quite a tell because There's you no were roaches going roaches. Yet. Yeah. So he, you know, the you know, a really big toad obviously seeing the you know the Hellbat, I mean the armory rather, but as he doesn't have an overload anywhere near, I think it he did already get sacrificed sniped the off. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's not Viking, get yeah. <clears throat> so six Hellions is not abnormal to see. Uh, That's why he's not overreacting seeing this, but he's still making a lot of roaches. And I think for revival, the nice thing is he kind of hit that drone goal for ten minutes, and you you want seventy, you want six, you can get away with it, but. After taking a bit of Widow Mine aggression, you know there's going to be some sort of follow-up. The question is what? Because he doesn't know what, he's actually just getting a lot of roaches to deal with it. Uh, now, if he goes aggressive himself, this will work out best for Supernova. Sitting at home, three medevacs, five marauders, and a bunker. I mean, he's going to shred those roaches to bits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Revival is I was trying to hit this 1-1 one -one timing. 1-1 one -one did finish. He's getting a little bit of roaches right now. But I, uh, I mean... He probably breaks through the first bunker. If he, in fact, goes for it, he's actually not even running up there. Uh, yeah, he's just making a lot. This is, I feel, too many defensive roaches. I yeah, mean, it's no longer defensive. It can't be, right? Like That's what bucks? I'm saying. Like It's too much to be defensive. Oh, he's going in the back rocks. Oh, this might be a good idea. Okay. What's well, nice, though, is like with the way that Supernova structured his defense, though, it's really unit-reliant, right? Like It's not really... Oh. Oh god, the changelings actually scout yeah. everything right now. This is huge. There's no reason to have this many Hellions. Oh, he hears it. He hears it. Right? Yes. Okay. I mean, apparently he's not really worried, though. I mean, I can't... His composition is freaking me out right now. It's like, you remember those Marauder Hellion all-ins from Wings, Wings Liberty? Yeah. Those are... Yeah. That's... That's what he's doing right now. <laughs> not even Wings of Liberty. That's like what freaking Polt was doing like at MLG not even that long ago. You remember that? Uh, versus Hyun? But okay. Stimming on in here. There's a lot of marauders. The Hellions are not Hellbats, though. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering about that. Maybe it's better it's, if they aren't. I'm not sure. Well, it's more splash, but it's less health. I don't. Uh, that's why I think the trade-off doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. All uh, right. How about stuck behind the marauders? Gunking up a command center really doesn't do much. It doesn't stop it from getting energy, and you can still cast mules. You just can't build SCVs. So, uh, kind of a interesting contaminate. The <laughs> changes guess. actually leave the base for whatever reason. Uh, see that often, but now you know he has a wall off, and now he has an opening right here. He might in fact take the third as the one to the left. That'd be interesting to see. At this, this push, is... it's pretty scary. If the roaches move up into the hell. That's gonna be a lot of uh, splash damage coming down. But there's so many roaches here. I think Supernova's gonna get a lot of kills. Uh... I don't know if he'll be able to prevail through it though. I mean, like he's yeah. gonna beat out this first wave of roaches, but Revival's still pumping out like ten at a time behind this. It just—it's so. It was an odd trade. It was an even trade, you're right. It ended up being an even trade. He just wanted to, probably just wants to pick up whatever is left over. Yeah, like right around now. Yeah, there you go. Just getting out of this. Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing Supernova definitely is missing is that he only went for one engineering bay. You know, he was trying to hit this timing with Marauders and Hellbats. So his second engineering bay was late, and he has yet to start it. He has an armory, so he definitely should start his armory. Like, his armor upgrades not even started. Come on. Chop, chop. Well, Widowmines giving out are a bit interesting to see. Widowmines, we've seen proven more and more, have become... 
I, I guess a more viable option to deal with roaches. Really good versus Roach Hydra, and in fact it is going to be Roach Hydra with the Hydrogen completes behind this, so... Uh, revival... I don't know that I like this strategy on this map. Um, it's not really super open, there's a lot of good engagement paths the Terran player can take. Ooh, I like these Hellbat drops. Yeah. How are they doing absolutely nothing though? Finally some drones die, maybe the Queen now. You know, I don't know if Revival's just really lucky or Supernova's unlucky, but his harass has just been horrendous this game. It, and it's like Supernova does like Revival didn't even notice for like the longest time, and I, the just, he, do nothing. Well, it's because they drop behind the Queen, the Queen's accidentally blocking them out with like their body, I mean it's just... Uh, the so Widowmines, the Hellbats, it's not that Supernova's doing anything wrong with the drops, guys, it's just seriously the worst luck. <laughs> or for Revival, the best luck. Yeah, either one, either one. Uh, but Supernova, you know, he's in trouble right now. Uh, not for the fact that, like, all of his army died or anything, because he's, I mean, 40 I, I kind of like the choice for Widowmines over Siege Tanks to deal with this, but he didn't know it was Hydras. Like, mm -hmm. he just saw a lot of Roaches. And I mean, yeah, you kind of assume there's going to be a Hydra behind the Roach, right? But, um, sadly, I don't think Supernova did. However, the Widowmines, they'll get some good connects here. Tanks always seem to go down so quickly. Blinding Clouds rendered them just absolutely worthless. But his production's up. He's going to have a lot of units. Uh, the sad thing though is, I don't think I don't know if he'll have enough. <laughs> yeah, well, he needs bunkers and tanks. You know, either or can sometimes deal with it. Both is always the best. Um, either that or do like mass drops, which he's he's not doing. Only has one drop out in the field. That's the Hellbat drop. So I'm really worried. He also doesn't have a good medevac count. He doesn't have good upgrades. You know, revival is on two too. Now, Supernova gets the medevac out alive. Small consolation there. More medevacs is more power for dealing with this. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Does Supernova know that Revival is not going to the third? Oh, oh. Does uh -oh. Supernova, or does Revival even know about third? No, he's. Oh, dear. Well, this might work out for Revival even still. Like. Well, so I'm saying, like, Revival. There's no reason for him to go towards the third because he didn't know it was he doesn't know where it was. Sensor tower base, sensor tower. <laughs> Thank God for that sensor tower. We see Supernova repositioning everything right now. What am I included? He's gotta bring all of his army though. Yo, buddy, hit the select all move. Uh what am I coming to the front lines? I'm gonna get folks down immediately. This is a really bad a choke, choke though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, revival not getting his entire army in here. Now the concave is uh, favoring revival right now, but the roaches, they're all dying really, really fast. But only Hydra's left. Supernova might be able to take this engagement really, really well. I wish he could back up and let the Widowmines get involved, though. Really, against this many yeah, Hydra that's lists. true. He's rallying units, catches the roaches that swamp in for the back. I think those were accidental, not on purpose, but hey, still kind of works out. There we go. Now Widowmines going to get a couple good shots off on the Hydra's. This will soften up the roaches as well. And he will hold this. Both players basically trade out their entire armies for this. The difference is, it's really easy for Revival to make 40 roaches and storm across the map, opposed to Supernova, who's cranking up five marines, five marauders at a time. Yeah, and does Revival realize that's what happened? Is that Supernova, or Supernova, yeah, had his base over there? He found out, yeah, as a okay. consequence of that attack. Now, like, he has, you know, Supernova in one choke point, he can probably hold on against 30 roaches, deciding which choke point to take. It's so lot this is more difficult. Stim and get the hell away is what this is, yeah. Uh, he have to lift up and like just leave. Like, he, well, he's gonna try and hold this versus uh, the roaches. He's got five marauders producing at a time. He should be able to deal with this move. Okay, the reinforcements coming in, like. Well, for both players, actually a little bit scary because once again, revivals been pumping up a ton of units. He's even a queen walking with the front lines, and marauders are starting to go down pretty oh, quick. Oh, lift, lift and run, lift and run, just. Lift yeah, to third base, bro. He's got to consolidate his forces. Backs up with the reinforcements. Widowmines coming to the front lines. And uh, yeah, with a couple good Widowmines, maybe he can get the connects. But there is an Overseer here, so he's got to be careful. Lift. Um, Whoa. Whoa. Don't let the command center die. Don't take the chance, bro. He's, he's going to try to actually hold here. I don't I think don't, he can. I, I know those Marauders are scary, but no. Lift, lift, lift. Uh. Okay, so if the Marauders can weed this out, there's still Hydras behind it, what's so scary. No tank fire, as you pointed out. There's also no one mines involved whatsoever. This command starter is burning, but Revival's fighting off of Creep. The one thing the Supernova has going for him. So he can't oh, really retreat so from this. He has to fight. Oh, that was so scary. That was super scary. The Hydralisk are gonna... I've, oh, some of them anyway. I've never seen such trading in Roach Hydra. Usually for one player, it snowballs out of control. But yeah. uh, Revival's been getting good trades. He has a fourth behind this, so he's able to afford it. Supernova's been barely clinging to life, but he's managed to maintain the medevacs, which I think is really key going forward here. Normally, yeah. you see a lot of Terran players just bleed out those medevacs to Hydras. Yeah. Plus, his upgrades are finally finishing up. You know, he's been at a disadvantage this entire time until plus three just finished. And now plus two is also going to finish up. So he's actually going to have a supply or an upgrade lead, which is going to help out so, so much. I mean, the engagements are already even. 
Oh, if you could wait just 20 more seconds, you'd have such an oh. upgrade lead. Oh, even without those upgrades. Lead, maybe. Yeah, oh. he's gonna tear through those roaches. Again, five marauders at a time. You just don't see this, and it's working out pretty nicely. They got the help to soak the heads from the hydras. The armor's gonna work out really so nicely. Close. The he's hydras just, just aren't dying yet. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's just lacking the DPS from the marines, is the problem. Because they keep dying so quickly. If you can keep those alive a little bit longer, he takes way better engagements. Wooden Mine's also filtering through the front lines, but this is like a tug of war. Just watching players go back and forth, back and forth. Oh, Overseer actually come on. splashes the marauders. <laughs> I can't believe oh. this! The filtering of like three units at a time from both players! Ooh! Revival just can't get enough headway. Oh my god. Yo, oh, it's Supernova. Uh, you're, just, you're just playing with fire, man. I can't believe you're still going with a mines. Oh, his upgrade did finish though! Ooh, this is so nice. Yo, I've never been so happy to watch Roach Hydra. <laughs> A lot of the times yeah, it's, it's just... never like this, man. Like that first like that first attack should have been on a concave instead of through the choke of the natural. You know what though? Hang Supernova on. Supernova probably dies, but Well, this is a bit of a problem. Supernova is no longer really to keep up uh he's struggling to keep up with the economy. There's one mineral patch here at the natural, he's over muled like crazy. Third base is the actual main base being repositioned. So I mean now his gas count's gonna be affected by this. He has done a great job holding so far, but the difference is revival ends up trading better through the fact that he's got more mining going on for him. Yeah, uh, Supernova should really start looking into, of course, drops. Uh, he's kind of stabilized right now. He has the upgrade lead. Could go ahead and get the plus three upgrade as well, but uh, oh, you know, one or two tire. drops could really help him out here. He's preparing for an attack to the north, but he's going to get flanked here in the south. And the thing is, guys, this many roaches and hydras can focus down these SCVs. Not even focus, just stutter oh, step. Oh, what is this army doing? I thought it was going over there. Ah. Oh. Uh, he's going to try and get away. This command center is probably going to fall. Uh, he can't afford this. He cannot afford to lose this command center. Yeah, but Revival can't afford to dive on it either, though. You know, that's a good so point. It, it he's got, survive. He's got a supply lead. What am I trying to burrow here on the right side? What have lead. not been so good so far? But with the roaches dissipating once again, <laughs> black. Meta back for each Marauder. Yeah, this is looking okay. Once again, this weird trade where it just equalizes like crazy. Oh, God. This, this, I this, can't the believe this is helping out so much, too. I mean, the fact yeah. that he's just all Marauders, he is starting to mix in more Marines, though. I think maybe he took your, uh, your suggestion to heart. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about the Marauders. They hit hard, but they're not the DPS of Marines. Uh, oh, I don't like pushing into these roaches, though. I'd say just pick oh, up and get out of here. Oh, no, pick up, pick up, pick up. Don't just run away. Pick up. He's on creep. Pick up. You were no. training from a circle play on no. creep without hydras. Pick up. You're Supernova. You're so good at this game. We shouldn't be telling you this. <laughs> There's a counterattack at Supernova's new fourth. Also, Ooh, no bunker. Uh, still no bunker. Yeah. Only one roach, though. The SUVs could honestly deal with this. Not the end of the world. Um, you know, but for Revival, we're talking about his economic lead. That's actually starting to dissipate now, too. Realizing this, he takes his fifth. This is really important. If he continued up this path on what he had, it would not allow him to trade sufficiently. Supernova, though, in the meantime, I mean, despite getting an extra base, this only puts him back to where he was before. This doesn't get him ahead, because his main and natural are gone. Uh, this is such a weird game. I've never seen Roach Hydra play out like this, but I couldn't be happier than it is. I would really love Supernova just to have one drop flying everywhere. I mean, Revival's main and natural could be completely compromised. He's never yeah. he's never at home. He's always trying to fly on the aggression. Well, you know, another thing we haven't really touched base on is Revival spread creep like a boss behind this. And one of the limiting factors of engagements for Roach Hydra is movement, mobility, you know? We saw him off of creeps off and around this third. That's why he could never retreat and fall back with his forces to retain them for round two. Oh. Supernova not trying to get his third over there? He's trying to actually entirely move his, his whole line of attack to the the right uh but his uh, creep isn't gonna no oh, the creep i can't understand feeling compromised like that um but the blinding cloud's getting really scary here too bio can stim out of it but that's still like enough time for you to lose a lot of marauders and marines to hydralisks yeah that's true it's supernova's um, army supply is i don't know man it says 99 it doesn't look like 99. yeah for sure uh, he has to get up a ramp he has to have something else helping him the rocks something else Nope, he's gonna get sandwiched in. This is not gonna go well. Oh, good rocks! Oh, nice split from Revival at the very last second. Ooh, yeah, for sure. Those would have uh, killed a couple of the roaches too. But holds on the ramp here. The blinding clouds not proving to be that good. <laughs> Nova just doesn't have enough. No, don't go down! Don't, don't go down! Money. The one thing that was going for him, keeping Revival back, is the concave at the top of the ramp. Revival is not going to push into that. But as he comes out in the open, this opens up the door for Revival to get that concave. So a little bit greedy. Gonna have to pull back. Oh my god, this game has been so back and forth. The resources lost is insane right now considering the style of game being played at the moment, but... Oh, kill that one creep. Yeah, one creep tumor being such a nuisance. Yo, what's oh, scary? Yo, is Revival could invest in some lings right now? We talk about Revival's base being open to compromise. Look at the back door here for Supernova. 
Yo, he yielded that third. There's no defense. Sure. Lynx could run by, get on top of the production, hit those tech labs, get the reactors. He never got Ling speed, but I, I like I'm kind of thinking that slow Lings would actually be super effective. <laughs> I, I think just any sort of run by, even if it was a small amount of roaches, truthfully. Oh, I'm not feeling good for Supernova right here. Revival mm. was able to max out. Supernova is not. He had so much time. You yeah. Know, both players did, but Supernova just didn't have the economy. Got the giant pit in your stomach watching the watch this play out. The uh, the sport crawlers on the front lines guys look awkward, but they're for the uh, consumes of the Vipers. Blinding Cloud goes down. He's going to try and retreat from this. He's got no way to deal with the Vipers either. No Vikings in play. Supernova, he's put up such a good fight, but I think Revival's finally about to bully his way in here. Just barely. And with a good uh, sandwich as well. Supernova... This is oh, how man. this is how StarCraft games need to go. I don't care what the race distribution is, but the back and forth intensity of this game has been crazy. Even still, he barely holds on at the end. But this is, make no mistake, guys, the end. When you see a command center like this and mining as is, desperation's already set. Yeah, yeah he has to repair it if he wants to actually keep it alive. Nah, but down by down. 70 supply now. I mean, once you're down below 100 and your opponent isn't, that's usually game. Yeah. Now this was a great game out of Supernova and Revival. I seriously like, guys, these TCs need to come flooding in chat because GG, Revival takes game number two, and we're going to get to see game number three. Got to give it to Revival. Really, I, if he never got to that Viper tech, though, like, honestly, guys, I don't think that game would have gone the way it did. The blending claws didn't look like they did much because we kept seeing the bio stem out of it. But I mean, once again, it's the it's the former Marauders dying there. Those are the former Marauders that were barely staying alive at the end of the other fights, right? I mean, I wouldn't say it was strictly blinding cloud that won in the game, but it's what really helped him get that uh, that leverage towards the end. So I'm glad Revival got into that hive tech. Did